since we couldn't really see anything, you might still not be convinced that this is actually working. So let's go to our pop-up window and let's actually add some real element in here. Let's give ourselves some um, background element, which is just a normal visual element. New visual element. And now to add this, since we are in a visual element, we can use all of its properties. And that means we can do hierarchy dot add window. Let's save this. Sorry. Let's go back to Unity. And when it reloads, you can see we have our visual element as a child of the pop-up window. So it seems to work, but we still cannot see anything. So in order to see something, since we are basically doing all of this, since we need a script that is basically defining our control, we need to add some styling. And in order to do that, um, we have to give ourselves a style sheet. We are going to have to load this style sheet in the script. And that means we have to create a resources folder. If I wrote that correctly, yes. Okay. Let's jump into the folder and let's create a style sheet, UI toolkit style sheet. And let's call that pop up window. Style sheet. Okay. Now we can add this style sheet to this uh, to this UXML, uh, not just UXML document, but to this kind of instance of the UI builder by going to add existing um, style sheet, and we go to pop up window resources and our style sheet. Now, by default, you have this visual element here that we don't actually need. So let's remove this and let's add a new selector, which will be called pop up window. And this will be the styling for our the background for the buttons and the text. So let's just go on to the pop up window. And just to be able to see anything, Let's just give it for now a style, a size of 100 by 100 pixels and some, some background color that we can actually see. And now we can open this style sheet in our editor. Oops, I forgot to save this. And you can see the styles that we just defined here in our editor. Now we will put this as a side window here. And now let's see how we can um, use this style sheet in the script. First thing that we need to do is to provide a reference to the style sheet itself. Let's call this, well, let's make this a private const string. Can call this style resource and now we need the name of our style sheet pop up window style sheet just like that we don't need the file ending now we can add the style sheet to the whole kind of hierarchy of your visual element uh, so also to all the child elements by going style sheets dot add and now we need this resource folder that I was talking about because from that you can do resources dot load we want to load a style sheet And the reference was, we called this style resource. So now our style sheet is available. However, we haven't actually set this class to any element and we wanted to have this window to be visible 
um, at least in, in some way, at least with those few properties that we set so far. So what we can do is go on, go to the window and add the class that we defined in UI Builder to the class lists. Oops, but we should do this with a, also with a reference. So let's just go into here and let's also take a private const string. Um, oh, how do we call this? Let's say it's USS pop-up and the name of the class, which is pop-up window. Oops, semicolon. And now we can use this reference, this variable here to add this to the class list of this one element that we that we created. Let's see if that actually worked. When we go back to the UI builder, you can see our visual element. This was the element that got the class. It has the size that we set and it has the background color that we set. So that seems to work. Now that we know how to use style sheets um, in, the, in the script, Let's actually utilize that and let's prepare a little bit what uh, we actually want to have as a final result. And let's basically set the basis for um, for what we need later, which is just some overlay window on which we will then put the content like the text and the buttons. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to match the game view here because this will make it a little bit easier later. Okay, and now let's just think briefly uh, what we actually want. Now we want a pop-up that is basically covering the whole screen and that has some window in the center and that basically always behaves the same no matter what else is on the screen. So we always want a overlay and um, some fixed size window basically in the middle. So let's just go into the editor again, go into our style sheet. And what I prepared here, I will not type this out fully, is a second class that we will call pop-up container. And this is, this is not for the window itself, but this is for our base visual element, right? So I hope that, that um, you notice that we are having already we're already having two visual elements basically the one that we are building and the window that we added to it and this visual element um, that we are actually building at its the root element of it is just this overlay window that we want to use that should cover the whole screen and that's why we uh, position it absolutely so that we take it out of the normal um, of the normal flexbox layout and we give it a width and height of 100% we want to um, align it uh, in the center and give it some um, some slight grayish um, background color. So when we save that and go back to Unity, that's not so good, but since we have this on the script, this should work. Ah, no, <laughs> I know what's wrong. We forgot to actually add um, add this class to our visual element. So as we said, we have to add this to the visual element that we are actually, um, that is our the root of our control. And so we can just do add to class list like that. And obviously we need, we need a reference to the class and let's call this USS pop-up container and the class name pop-up container just like that. Now let's take the reference, add it to, to the visual element and that now should work. 
Yes, and you can see we have this. Um, you cannot really see this because we are already having a dark background here. But later in the game, you will you will be able to see that we get this um, this kind of transparent um, background here, uh, slight dark background, and the actual the the win window element that is for now just a small little square, this red little square is nicely centered um, over our pop-up. In order to see that a bit better, we can actually give this canvas some background. And now when we add the pop-up window back again, we should see some, yeah, it's getting a little bit darker. I think we should increase this effect a little bit. And now we can see um, when there's no pop-up window and this is our normal game state. And when you add the pop-up window, you clearly have this overlay um, and you clearly know that you are um, that you are having kind of a new uh, window. I think that's you see that quite often when, with those pop-up windows.